I want to get your thoughts on um, the Washington Redskins because at the moment there's plenty of talk about them and whether the name is offensive, whether it should be changed and whether that indeed means that other teams' names should be changed as well. What do you think? Do you think it needs to go? Yes, but no, not, not the other teams. Uh, the Redskin name is completely offensive to me. Uh, I did NFL football on the radio for Tampa for two years in the early 90s and the Vikings for one. Whenever I would talk, I made, I made a conscious effort. I simply called them Washington. And I hope I never slipped up. But I would only call them Washington. And put it this way. Do you think you could go out on the street and see a Native American who you didn't know and say, hey, Redskin, come here? Mm. What, do you think, what do you think the results of that would be? Uh. Not very good. <laughs> they need to change that name. It's racist. And I had to laugh. You know, this kid from Philadelphia that got in all the trouble, you know, for... Riley he, Cooper. He, yeah, 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 he made a yeah. racial slur yeah. uh, on tape or whatever. Well, I found it laughable on ESPN when they chastised him, and then the very next story was RG3 and the Washington Whats, mm -hmm. and none of them even batted an eye over it. Uh, I think it, it shows me this. It shows me that we as individuals can't make racial slurs, but corporations can. And I thought corporations were supposed to have the same as us, according to our Supreme Court. Well, if I can't make a racial slur, neither should a corporation be able to. You're watching the wrong sports network. <laughs> I'm from Orlando, okay. right? So the reason I'm saying that is because you think the NBA <laughs> draft lottery is rigged. The year Shaq came out, Minnesota was supposed to get him. Orlando got him and went to a final. I mean, what is your theory behind the whole NBA draft thing? Well, Why do you think it's rigged? Clearly it's fixed, because when you watch the Powerball, you watch the ball come out. How right. come? That would be exciting. Having all the owners there, and they go, OK, here's the number one draft pick, and the balls right. are bum, 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 and the one pops out. They sit up there with envelopes. And that year in Orlando had one ball yes, in the did. whole thing. And the next year we had one and got Penny Hardaway. There you go. <laughs> and do you think Disney World didn't have something to say about that hey, with hey. the corporation? No, I think fully you're not going to convince me that the NBA draft isn't fixed. Wow. It, I think completely it is because if it was honorable, they'd let us. They don't do that with the Powerball, do they? No. When all yeah. the money's on the line, they have to have it to where you in the early evening, you know, you if you want to watch it's it, It's pretty you interesting can. because LeBron James, that happened with Cleveland. You know what I mean? It just happened. The Cleveland kid winds up with the Cavaliers, you know. Actually, he's something. an Akron kid. Akron he's an Akron kid. kid, you know, and he wound and, up playing with the Cavaliers. And LeBron has said very clearly there's a major rivalry there. Akron don't necessarily like Cleveland and vice versa.